<laughs> okay. I'm Steve Henry with Wild West Aircraft from Idaho. And uh, this is my new Yeehaw 8. A lot of people have been asking about it. It, it is a new one. I've been playing it for, oh, about two or three months now. This is the second event we've taken it to. The two things that are most different on this from Yeehaw 6 is this the XL fuselage, so it's two feet longer. And then the other big deal is it's a, still a Yamaha, but it's the newer three-cylinder turbo Yamaha versus the four-cylinder. Same size engine, pretty much the same power, but it's new. It's brand new. Uh, it's factory turbocharged, so you don't have to take it apart and put new rods and stuff in unless you want huge horsepower. But people take them like this up, you know, three or 400 horsepower. So that's the two main differences. There's, there's some other little things. I did my flaps a little different. I put two control arms on the flaps because I just get a little nervous about overworking a flap because we get so much thrust with this prop and engine. I just didn't want to take any chances on ever having a flap failure, and I probably wouldn't have anyway, but I thought, what can it hurt? It'll just make me feel better. So little things like that. I, I kind of redid the the flap linkage, the, the, the lever in here too, where they really come down a long ways. I mean, I get really, really a lot of deflection. The other ones would come down more like this. The six comes about like probably that, maybe even like that, and this really come down. You wanna talk about the tires? Oh yeah, right, right now I have my 31s. It depends on what, what I'm doing. I have 31s all mounted up on six inch wheels. And then I have some 22 and a half inch knobby tires of all things on eight inch beadlock wheels. And I really wanted to do the, the knobbies in that size for stole drag, because we're not worried about angle attack. You know, you get a lot more angle attack with the 31s. These can go over, of course, bigger rocks and holes. Like when I'm flying around out in the desert in Idaho, I'm gonna want, I wanna want my 31s on there. But stole drag racing, even during the traditional stall here, the, uh, those little knobbies work, work awesome. I can stop so good. They're lighter and I can land a little, a little shorter mostly because I can stop, stop better. I don't slide. These, these will slide. Another, one other thing that's quite a bit different is I have Mark and Ginyo wheels and brakes. <clears throat> and I've never, I hadn't even heard of them until a year or so ago and they got a hold of me and wanted to know if I'd run their, their stuff and I said, well, if it's good enough, I'll consider it. And they, they really do work very well. I've been real happy with them. Price-wise, they're in between Behringer and Matco, which is what most people have on their Highlanders, one of those two. So, and they're, they're really pretty beautiful. The machining and everything on them is super nice. And they really work well. So it's a good option for people. And we, we actually sell them now if people want to use them. Um, what else do we do different? There's, there's one thing that we haven't really revealed yet that we will someday. It's, it's kind of hard not, but we're just not, not yet. The, the wing is basically the same as on, on six, other than my flap's a little different, like I say it. It's a little shorter, but it comes down more. Um, my, I did the inside. I did the inside quite a bit different. I made this little bitty panel and left it open here, and then this is all open. So the visibility, it's just really amazing. And I, I don't like a bunch of instruments and stuff anyway. I just want what I need. I'm, I'm not. I don't like the big 10-inch TV screens for myself. I just have a mini EFIS. I don't need anything bigger than that. The engine monitor is actually bigger than my EFIS. This deal here is kind of an ugly thing, but I put my phone on there and record everything when I'm doing runs and stuff because everything happens so quick. I can't, I can't see what my RPMs and stuff are. I gotta, I can look back at the video. Of course, it logs in the ECU too, all that stuff. But just for me, for my quick reference, I can just look on my phone real quick and see what I was doing. We are dealers for Just Aircraft. Sell the Highlander and Superstole kits, and then some of the products that we carry are right here. Fly and Eyes, go on our website. There's a link for Fly and Eyes, and I love them. I mean, they're, they're super thin on the sides. They're incredibly flexible. You can't break them. And they're really, really nice underneath the headset. 
um, arrow leads, the lighting, they're made right there in Boise. They do a fantastic job, super bright, real little, like our wingtip, you know, do everything lights are, they call them nanos. They're not even on their website. They're tiny little things. And they're bright as could be. And then our wigwag landing lights. So those are awesome. We we just, the Mark and Genio brakes and wheels, you know, I've tried them out now really well, like really tried them out and uh, they work great. And they're holding up. I probably, with other brakes, I probably would have been through a set of brake shoes by now, even though this plane's only been flying in about three months. I've got nearly a thousand takeoffs and landings on it already, and I don't baby my brakes. Skytrax, they make their, our gearbox that we use with this Yamaha engine. Hypersports is who I'm working with on the engine and the tuning. Uh, they're in Wisconsin, so it's a little easier than, you know, some place that's a long ways away, time zones away. They're only one time zone away from me. Oratex, this is the third airplane I've covered with Oratex. I really like it. I, what I really, really like is I don't have to paint. I just, I'm not a painter. I mean, I've painted a few airplanes and they turned out and everything, but I just don't like doing it. So having pre-colored fabric, just that alone makes it worth it to me. EarthX, I don't think you can beat EarthX batteries. I've been using them for years. They, they just work, they work, and they're light. GRT Avionics, <clears throat> I've used those for the last few years too. Uh, they're actually helping me out this time on this one. I have a, just a mini, a little mini. I've, what I've used in the past mostly is the Sport EX. Tundra Light tail wheels. It's the best tail wheel you can put on one of these Highlanders. It can be a locking tail wheel if you want, or don't lock it if you don't want. And then the Sky Cowboy helmets. There's my helmet sitting right here. It's, they're just so nice. They're very, extremely comfortable. I have mine with the Bose headset. And they got me this visor too. I really like having the visor, especially like it, two nights ago, we were here landing right into the sun. Man, that thing was nice to have. <clears throat> then there's parts that we build on here that we can use on other Highlanders or Super Stoles, like our header tank. If you want to use the Yamaha engine, we build the motor mounts and oil tanks and coolant tanks. I think that's about all the all the new stuff. Oh, we we like the slats for when we're uh, like in a competition or just flying. The slats are nice. They're not necessary, but they're nice. I can I can definitely fly it slower and land it shorter. The cuff, I I think anybody with a Highlander ought to put the cuff on because it's it's only five hundred dollars. It's not hard to do, and it really does help that Highlander wing. Um, another thing that six had this too, but we put a leading a different leading edge on our aileron. It just it just makes the ailerons work a little better. At times, I run a spade. The reason I have them on right now is because I have an extra 18 inches of wing on here. Again, that's just a competition thing. The only time I run that is if I'm doing a stole competition. Of course, that's going to make the roll rate a little slower. So. Sometimes I'll put the spade on for that to bring the ailerons back a little. We do have on our Patreon channel some videos about our leading edge cuff, uh, about our header tank, about putting the wing cuff, putting the slats on. There's different things that we do have. I can't remember what they all are right now, but we have quite a few videos that are just informational about things that we do build in these to help people out. <clears throat>